I chose to become an educator because as a little girl, I'd play teacher. I'd line up my dolls and all my little stuffed animals and I'd teach them. And then when I got older and got into high school, I had some really awesome math teachers that really inspired me to help others. And I realized that this is something I wanted to do. I wanted to help teenagers learn math and help prepare them for the world, the real world. After graduating HL, I plan on attending Louisiana State University and I go, want to major in computer sciences with a concentration in cybersecurity. Well, Kobe is a very dedicated and um, determined young man. He's a great student. This is the second year that I have taught him and I had him in pre-calculus. It was a very small class in calculus, which is a small class also. So as a class, we come together and we work together. And if he doesn't understand something, he asks questions and he helps out other students. He works well with other students. And I really look forward to seeing what his future holds for him. My main motivations for school would be my, my parents. They're always on me, always getting me up, always doing stuff for me. They really push me to where I am today. My teachers, especially when I first got here, all these new teachers and stuff, that was really helpful having that new support coming from the teachers here. And then even since we were platooned at that time, even my friends, I was able to see them very briefly, but it was really nice seeing them. That helped me really show up and through those tough times really be who I am. Well, Kobe is famous for writing on the board, free day. <laughs> so where I have my uh, stuff written on the board about a test, he'll erase it and say, free day instead. <laughs> so he does that a lot, and it's very funny. And of course, I have to knock him down and say, no, it's not a free day. We are going to have class today. <laughs> Kobe switched over to Bourgeois from South Terrebonne after Hurricane Ida because he, he did lose his home down there in South... At, well, Pontichet, yeah, well, Pontichet. And he um, lost his home down there and he came over to Bourgeois. His first year here was the year that we were platooning with South Terrebonne. So he's had some very interesting years here at HL Bourgeois. So um, I'm happy that he did land here. I was not actually supposed to be in her class that junior year. I was put in advanced math because she teaches advanced math, pre-calculus, algebra two, and calculus. So I was put in her advanced math class at the beginning of the year. So really my first thought was, well, what am I doing in this class? But after all of that, of course, my first thought of her, because the whole school talks about her, you know, she's, oh, Miss Brown's this, Miss Brown's, she's really strict, she's mean, she gives so much homework. So I was a little nervous at first, you know, going in for the first time, but she's, she's awesome. She, after that first day, I knew they don't know what they're talking about. She's an amazing teacher. Well, I have multiple math teachers that I have um, in, from high school. I did go to Vanderbilt for a short time, and I had Brother Donald McGrath for two years, and he was just uh, an amazing teacher. He never let us give up. He would always say, I'm not going to spoon feed you, and I remember that all the time. And he um, would be available for help in the classroom every morning and I was always there trying to get extra help just to make sure I understood it and he was always willing to help and to the day he passed away he would still call me every year on my birthday to wish me a happy birthday when my daughter was born he you know congratulated me and all he was even at my wedding and then I have here from Bourgeois when I came to HL Bourgeois and I graduated from here I had Algene Thibodeau and Marsha Poole and I had Marsha Poole for calculus and she was just all over the place and I just her energy and just watching her all over the classroom I'm like I want to be that energetic. Math has always been my favorite subject. All, I've been a math kid for a long time and my biggest struggle with math was I never had a teacher that was on you that was constantly helping you know over your shoulder doing all this you know actually teaching and Miss Brown was the, one of the first teachers that I've had that left an impact on me, not only in class, but after class, like with doing homework and stuff. I've never had a teacher like that, and it really, really helps and pushes me.